What's up YouTube, it's Dylan from the Buddy Force here and we're back with Sealed Only. What is this, episode nine, eight, nine, eight? It's been a minute since I've seen you guys. Uh, so like I said, when we last left off, I took about a month's break until the Shadal Structure Deck came out. It's out, it's the Sunday after it came out for me right now. And we got them baby, three copies of the Shadal Structure Deck. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking, oh wow, everybody's doing the Shadal Sealed Only Challenge, whatever. But we're not. We're not just playing Shadals. No, the idea is to take the cards from the Shadal boxes and incorporate it into our zombie deck and play Shadal Zombies. It's been a long time since I've seen you guys. Hopefully you guys are excited to see me continue going on this Sealed Only journey. And we do have a deadline. We, we have an end point for the series now. We have a Winnipeg Regionals coming up on March 14th. That is where we are gonna make our Sealed Only debut. We are going to try to top the Winnipeg Regionals with Sealed Only, and that will be the last episode of Sealed Only. Then if you guys want me to start it up again, we can do a completely different deck, but so on. But this is the end of this Sealed Only journey. It will be, I guess the video will come out for you guys a week later, but yes, we have a Regionals in March and that will mark the end of Sealed Only. But without further ado, we've got about a month before that happens, so let's get right into it. As I showed before, we've got three of these. I'm just gonna open up one for you guys now because they're all the same, and we will get right into it. Actually, before we start, I just wanted to mention, we've got a little bit of a spicy tech to go in with these. And I've seen some comments about this, and I didn't even realize it myself, but while I've been buying all of these sealed packs and sealed products, I've been missing out on one very important key feature. And that's right, it's the Lost Art promos. So when I bought these three structure decks, they also gave me the Solemn Judgment Lost Art promo. And I thought, hey, you can only get these Lost Art promos if you buy sealed product. And it's in itself, it is sealed. So why not incorporate it into our decks? Because in theory, if you have a local card shop where you can buy sealed product, you are able to get Lost Arts as well. So we are gonna incorporate this copy of Solemn Judgment into our deck and any further copies of Lost Art promos that we get. I've seen, I've sort of seen the list for this. I also don't know what any Shadals do other than Winda. I, I, ha I actually have no idea what Shadals do. All I know is that they will be pretty good in Zombies. So I'm gonna read through these. Uh, you guys can just skip ahead if you already know, but I actually don't know what these Shadal cards do. Is it just me or does it seem a little warped? Okay, so first card is El Shadal Grista. So, requires one Shadal monster and one fire monster, must first be fusion summoned. When your opponent would special summon a monster while you have a Shadal card in your hand, you can negate the summon and if you do, and if you do destroy that monster, then send one Shadal card from your hand to the graveyard. You can only use this effect once per turn. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a Shadal Spell of Trapping Graveyard at your hand. El Shadal Ap Cologne. Two Shadal monsters with different attributes. So, must first be fusion summoned, cannot be destroyed by battle. Once you you can only use each of the following effects once per turn. If this card is special summon, target one face of card on the field and get its effects. If this card is sent to graveyard, you can add one Shadal card from your deck to your hand, then discard one card. That's not bad. That's not the worst thing ever. El Shadal Construct, woo! Everybody was super excited when this came off the list. Must first be Fusion Summon. If this card is Special Summon, you can send a Shadal card from your deck to the grave. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a Special Summoned monster, destroy it. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target a Shadal Spell or Trap in your graveyard add to your hand. Okay, so I think the, so these three cards are the ultras, I guess. Honestly, looking good so far. 
So I don't know what any of these new ones do, let alone the old ones. Okay, so it's a flip effect. You can special summon one shadow monster from your hand in face up or face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can send a shadow monster from your hand to the grave. And if you do for the rest of the turn, all monsters you control gain attack and defense equal to the original level. That's not bad. It's like a little bit of an attack boost. Uh, Cad should all chaos. Cad should all chaos. Okay, Rishnal Windy. You can special summon a Shadal monster from your deck in face of a face down defense position. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon one Shadal from your deck in face down defense position. It's pretty good. Nail Shadal Aerial. You can target one of your banish Shadal monsters, special summon it in face up or face down defense. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, target up to three cards in the graveyard and banish them. Ooh, I like that one. Resh Shadal Incarnation. Target one Shadal monster in your graveyard. Special summon it in face up or face down defense. You can banish this card and one Shadal card from your graveyard. Then activate one of these effects. You can either change a face down monster you control to face up, or change one face up you control to face down. Oh, okay, so it's like a, it's like that Guru card, the Guru trap. So if you don't get to use this forever and ever. Hey, there it is, El Shadal Winda. Must first be fusion summon, cannot be destroyed by opponent's card effects. Each player can only special summon monsters once per turn, while this card is face up on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can target one Shadal spell or trap your graveyard added to your hand. Nice. So pretty much when we incorporate Shadals into the zombie deck, a lot of it is just going to be turboing out this, and ending on boards such as Vampire Sucker, Winda, and Ballardrock. Okay, let's keep going. Shekinaga requires an Earth. We could put this in here too because I think it's Unizombie and Mizuki are Earth. Anyways, must first be fusion summoned when a special summon monster activates its effects while you have a Shadal card in hand. You can make eight the activation and if you do destroy that monster, then send a Shadal card from your hand to graveyard. Nice. If this card is sent to graveyard, but well, same thing as the other ones. Shadal Fusion. Fusion summon one Shadal Fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If your opponent controls a monster that was special summoned from the extra deck, you can also use monsters in your deck as fusion material. That's busted. I've never actually read Shadal Fusion, but holy, I didn't even know about that second part. That's kind of nuts. Yeah, easy to do. Shadal Falco, what does this one do? It special summons one from Grave and then special summons itself in Oh, if it's sent to Grave Worker. Okay. This one adds a Shadal Speller Trap and then adds a Shadal Monster from deck to hand when it's sent. Okay, when it's flipped, pops a monster. When it is sent to Graveyard, send a Shadal card from deck to Grave. Okay, Dragon bounces and then destroys a Speller Trap. Beast is draws two, discards one, and then draws one when it's sent. Hound adds a card from Grave, and then when it is sent, uh, you change its battle position. Okay. When it's sent, you change a card's battle position. Shadal Zephyrcore. Oh my god, what is this? Blah. Yeah, we're not playing this. Uh, we're probably not playing this either. We're not playing Penholms. Ooh, look at that! Blackluster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. Honestly, this is such an amazing reprint. Like... I know a lot of people have already said this, but if you haven't ar already heard this, go out and buy this structure deck, not even if you want to play Shadals or not, just for the crazy reprints that are inside. Lava Golem, this card's going to go straight in our side deck, it's really nice. Uh, it's pretty much a Kaiju, pretty much Sphere Mode. So yeah. Dark Arm Dragon, we could also put this in here, but eh, it's a little iffy. Fairy Tail Sleeper. Whatever. Trick Clown. Armanite. Really nice. Thelus. A lot of mill cards. Electromagnetic Turtle. I love this card. Mathematician is also a really good reprint. Like I said, I sort of knew what the reprints were, but it's crazy knowing that like you can get three copies of some of these like amazing cards for less than 50 bucks. Curry Bandit. Paro Paro Serperus. If you take damage by battle or by opponent's card effect while this is in the grave, banish this card and then pop one. Oh, well, that's interesting. 
Curse of the Shadow Prison. I guess this is the Shadal Field spell. El Shadal Fusion. It's the Quick Play Fusion. Nef Shadal Fusion. Oh, what's this? Activate this card by declaring one attribute. Equip only to a Shadal monster, and it becomes that attribute. During your main phase, you can fusion summon from your hand or field, including the equipped monster. That's pretty cool. So, like, we could run this. And then we wouldn't have to run a bunch of like lights and fires. We could actually run more of the Shadal cards by running three this. Ooh, look at that Super Poly. Super easy way to get a playset of Super Poly. I know Dual Devastator was already like that, but it, this is nuts. And Instant Fusion. Do you remember how hard we were looking for Instant Fusion and we got super lucky out of getting it from those Toys R Us packs? And you could just get a playset right here. Oh my God. And Allure. I wanted to put Allure in for so long, but I was like, do I really buy three structure decks from Gates of the Underworld just to get Allure? No, that's crazy. Although we're doing something similar either next week or the week after that, so stay tuned. But it's not for Allure. Foolish Burial, another good reprint. Living Fossil, I remember when this card first came out. It was pretty much a staple in Goki Nightmare. Pot of Avarice, this card just came off the ban list. Literally every copy of this card is like at least five bucks. So to get your own copy, super easy and for free, this will probably go into our deck just because we do send a lot of zombies, or we do send a lot of cards into our graveyard, especially now that we're incorporating Shadals. But to be fair, we do banish a lot of them, but we'll see. Twin Twisters, we needed Twin Twisters. We're running one in our side deck right now, so. Should all core, we're probably not gonna run this. Uh, this is another one of those cards that... I guess changes its attribute? No. If someone this way, you can substitute this monster for one fusion material that lists an attribute on a Shadal fusion monster. Oh, I guess so this can be any, any, uh, fusion. Nice. Or any attribute. Sinister Shadow Games. I've never actually seen this card before. Send one Shadal card from your deck to the graveyard. Then you can change any number of face down defense position Shadal monsters to face up. Cool. Peru Shadal Aeon, uh, just gains attack for Shadal. Lost Win, another all really good reprint. Unending Nightmare, amazing reprint. Necrofusion, Subterra Succession, and here's the rest of the El Shadals. So what does this one do? You can target one monster, you control this turn, and it cannot be destroyed by battle with an opponent's special summon monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard, target a Shadal, a Shadal spell or trap, add it to your hand. Okay. Then there's Anoyatilis. Must first be fusion summoned. Neither player can special summon monsters from the hand or graveyard using spell or trap effects. That's interesting. Shadal Construct. During your main phase, fusion summon a fusion monster from your extra deck using monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. If this card is in your graveyard, you can send one Shadal card from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. And if you do special summon this card. Well, that's nice, but we're probably not going to run it. And that is it, boys and girls. So yeah, this is just one. Like I said, you could get all of this for $15 Canadian. So yeah, it, this is probably one of the most value structure decks that's come out in a very long time. And I do think that even if you don't plan on playing Shadals, definitely buy this set just because of the amazing reprints that come inside. So that's that. We've also got the Solemn Judgment. We're gonna open I'm gonna open up the other two of these. I'm gonna get them incorporated into our deck. And I will see you guys tomorrow when we go to our locals, our first sealed only locals after a month. We're probably gonna be really rusty and we're gonna be playing a new deck, so I'll see you guys there.
Okay, so we just finished round one. It's our first game ever playing Shadal Zombies, and we 2 0 We were playing against Danger Dark World. We got really lucky with the die roll. We ended up winning die roll, so we went first. And we were able to make our Shadal combo where we summon Construct, send Windy, stuff like that. So it worked out pretty well. We did get. Uh, Eradicator Virus Game 2. Really interesting matchup though. I got Super Poly, I got Eradicator, but it ended up working out pretty well for us. I actually made like the dream board going Game 2. I was able to summon out my Ballardock, Winda, and Sucker. So, round 1, we ended up 2 0 and uh, we'll see how we do round 2. Okay guys, so round two and three are over. We ended up playing against Tack round two. He was playing pretty much sealed only Shadals. So that was actually really interesting. Uh, I wanna go first, he wants to go second. So it kind of worked out. Game one, we took a win just cause we were, I think we used Super Poly a couple times. Game two, we actually lost in time by 600 cause we Super Polyed into a window and we left it in attack mode during his battle phase. And then game three, we had to go first because of the die roll, and we ended up taking the win. So yeah, that was round two. Round three, we played against our friend Michael, and we lost badly. He was playing Invoked, I guess, Invoked Mech Knight Shadal, and Holy, did he destroy us? Like, it was it was crazy. He basically OTK'd us both times. We One die roll went first. Uh, we got OTK'd. Game two, we went second, opened up nothing, got OTK'd. So, yeah, that was really unfortunate. Uh, so, yeah, and there's only four rounds today, so we've got one more round left to go. And we'll see what happens. Okay guys, so round four just wrapped up. We ended up playing against Ronnie, another member of the Buddy Force. He's the one that does all our thumbnails, if you haven't already figured that out. And he was playing Guru, and as we've learned on the channel before, zombies are our worst Guru. So, we got absolutely destroyed. He activated There Could Be Only One, we couldn't do anything. He just had all the interruptions, we couldn't negate any of his things with Balladrock. So, we ended up going X2, but since there's four rounds today, we did end up getting prizing still. We got one OTS pack and one Ignition Assault, so let's open those up and see what we get. Good person. <laughs> Hey, we got Redoer. That's that's nice. That's nice. Hey. Ignition Assault. So, in this set, we're looking for Jack O'Bolan. Hey, and we got Redbeard the Plunder Patrol Matey. Not what we needed. Unfortunate. Okay. Well, that's it for the prizing. I'll see you guys when I get home. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm back home. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of Sealed Only after the break. Like I said, we've probably got about four or five more until regionals. So please stay along for the ride and hopefully we can get our invite. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, and subscribe and we'll see you next time.